Welcome back, you beautiful people. The mountain biking industry is in a little bit of a pickle at the moment, but don't worry. We have the future of mountain biking in our palms today. Something that will revolutionize the industry. Something that you've never seen on the trails before. It's this. Now, before we get this absolute beast out there on the trail, it's really big. Look, it is monstrous. A um, little brief history on this bike. Now, this is a 36 inch wheeled bike. It's full titanium, full custom built for GCN. Now, the guy who did design this and built it by his hands was Ted James Design. Uh, built for GCN, so it came with curly bars, and it was more built for Connor Dunn. Connor Dunn is a road cyclist, professional road cyclist on GCN. He's now a presenter there. He is six foot nine. Like up there, like, like super tall. I got told that he actually had to get permission to get a different postal code for his upper half of his body because he's that tall. He's got snow on his pip. It's, he's that tall. Anyway, I digress. But there is a few mods that we had to do to this bike because it started off with curly bars and skinny tires for the road, but we don't do that over here on GMBN. We do a little bit different. So the changes that we did to this bike, I'm gonna start off with the curly bar system because there's no curly bars. And it was just a, a matter of fact of just changing out the brakes and re-bleeding them to the nice Shimano Dior XT levers. Uh, you've got the, the DI2 down there, which is the GRX system, which is electronic shift. So that was easy, just had to mount that up here, get a little shifters on there, stuck some nuke proof bars, some Ergon FMD grips for nice, grippage out there when I'm getting scared on this bike. Uh, the wheels on this bike, well the tires to be to be precise, are the V Tire Co. It's a 36 inch tire and it's a 2.25. Now there's only a few companies that make a tire that go up to this size, so I'm sure these things are gonna be quite pricey and I've only got two and they're on the bike and I hope I don't get a puncture because that would be a nightmare to fix, wouldn't it? That would be the biggest puncture I've ever fixed on a bicycle. From the tires, giving us a little bit of volume, a bit more suspension out there, because this bike is rigid. We, we asked Google, Google, is there a 36 inch fork out there that we could buy or potentially use? And Google just turned around and gave us the bird and said, no, we haven't got any. They don't do forks for it, well, it doesn't matter. It's gonna be a rough ride anyway. But that's it, this is the bike. The 29 inch wheel, common size that I like to ride on my hardtail. But take a look at this one. Look at the size of it, 36 inches. And I thought that was big. That's even bigger, look at it. To size comparison, that is astronomical, isn't it? Right, before we head up on the climb, a few things I do like. I like this etched out, look at this, like it's nearly purple anodized here with a TJD design, Ted James design. Look at this welding on this tube here. These cups are separate to the head tube here. Oh, some beautiful, beautiful forks, all nicely polished, brushed polished, raw titanium, like the sticker, it's beautiful. It's a giraffe, I guess that's to mimic the length of Connor's neck. Hope everywhere. Orange, orange hub, they're the Pro 4s. Beautiful, we got one by 11 GRX. Oh, the saddle's a bit roady for me, but got a carbon seat post. That's about it. I, I, look at that. You can still smell the garage. So what are the advantages of bigger wheels? I mean, 26s were pretty good. Along came 29, then we went back a bit and we rode 27.5. Nowadays, predominantly, we are running a mixed wheel size, which is 27.5 on the rear and 29 up the front. But most of the bikes we're riding now are 29 inch wheels. But today, 36. So there are some advantages to going with a bigger wheel, right? So you've got rollover ability, you've got traction in corners in the trail, you've got top speed, you've got stability. All these things are advantages. But are we going too far with a 36? I don't know. 
Let's find out. I'm gonna timidly get on this bike and see how it climbs before we can do some descending. When it comes to mountain bike performance and racing, advantages are always key. Now, when it comes to climbing, you want something a bit bigger so you can get traction, you can get rollover abilities and efficiency and blah, blah, blah. But the 36, you know, these things are quite big and heavy. So to keep them going with momentum, you've got to keep putting the power down. And I thought being a climber would be easy. On the fire road, yes, it was all right, but then comes to this little tricky situation. It was quite a a barge to turn around on the trail, especially when the trail got a little bit techy with that zigzag, I had to go super wide. Now, if the trail gets really tight and windy, I am definitely gonna struggle with this, but it's okay. There's no advantages there. It's just heavy wheels and I gotta keep the momentum going. But now we're at the top, there's only one way down and that is down the trail. But before we get down the trail, I wanna see what this is like in a car park situation. Cause mountain bikers love jibbing in a car park. They like showing off. So obviously there's a few stunts that we can do on this bike, but there's one thing I'm curious about and a bit scared about is that front wheel with a down tube. Look how close it is when you hit the front brake. Now with a bit more on there, I think it's gonna buzz. Scared of that, but Every housewife's favorite is the wheelie. Oh, monster truck. <laughs> yes. We're warming up, we're warming up. He can do the odd car park stunt. I'm sure there's more, but it's not my bike. It's very fragile. It's made out of titanium by some incredibly talented human being. For Connor, I don't want to break it. So let's go down, launch pad. Which has got a few undulations. It's got some rollers, it's got some jumps if you want them to be. It's got some turns and it's quite high speed down the bottom which I think this is gonna come into its element. High speed, I'm ready. It's a blue trail, but that's fine. There's a black, black trail coming up soon. Rapid in. Oh, wrong way. Oh my gosh.
that was very different. The centrifugal force on these humongous wheels are ridiculous. When I wanted it to turn into something, it just constantly was a fight to, to bring it down. If you're into your road motorbikes, your road motorcycles, and you've got a real bald tire, and there's a flat spot, and when you come to a turn, it like goes, goes, and then it drops. This is what it feels like on this bike. It just goes and fight, fight, and then it turns. It's ridiculous. And when you're in the air, when you're trying to manipulate, like do a little trail turn bar, Man, that centrifugal force on that wheel is like It's weird, it, it like fights you. Now next time you take your wheel off your bike, if you want doing a puncture or just removing your wheel, give it a good spin, hold the hub, and try and do that. It's what these things feel like. It's ridiculous, it feels very weird. Speed-wise, really fast. Corners, agility, stabilization. Oh, I beg, oh nah, nah. I think it's too far for that. I think it is. It's really hard to get going, but it's really fast. Weird in the turns, in the jumps. I don't think it likes jumping. Absolutely don't like jumping. Anyway, not that said, let's take it down a real technical trail. Let's see if we can get it down something nasty. Right, corkscrew, black diamond, real tacky, real rooty. Something that roll over capability will be good at, right? There's a drop to start. <laughs> oh, we don't know what's gonna happen. Look at the size of it. All right. Let's go with some tech. What an experience that was. Holy mother of Moses. Big wheels, does it give you more of an advantage? Speed-wise, yes. Controllability, hmm, it's a bit iffy. Technical sections like that there, oh wait, guess what? If it had a lower saddle, maybe I could get my body weight over the back a little bit more so it doesn't feel like it's flicking me over the bars when I go over those root drops. Suspension, it does need it, but the flex in the fork would be unreal if it was a, uh, a shock on the front. Apart from that, really exciting to ride. But, uh, man, I need to have a breather. I'm gonna have a cup of tea first and then uh, mm, we'll talk. Oh. There we have it, you beautiful people. A 36 inch bike. What did I think of it? Well, to be honest, it was interesting to ride. The centrifugal force on the wheels when it comes to a corner it fights is ridiculous. I've mentioned that the tires, there's some grip there. But it's, oh man, there's so much flex there. If this saddle was low, I could get my body weight over it because after riding that uh, corkscrew trail, it's rough, it felt like it was throwing me over the bars. Talk about over the bars, the forks are so flexy, it's ridiculous. Look at the slow-mo. How nuts is that? That there it just fills me with confidence, not. If I had a full, if I had a shock on there, I don't know if I would trust it either because the flex and the shock, I'd probably break it anyway. It's because the wheels are so big. Uh, is it the future of mountain biking, a 36 inch wheel? Mm, I don't know, I don't think so. It's just a bit nuts, it's a bit nuts. But I did get a hunch from Neil that he said there is gonna be a bigger wheel. I don't know if there is, maybe for cross country, maybe it would it be a 29.5 or a 30 inch. It kind of makes sense because all these advantages, it comes down to racing. You wanna get the advantage on someone, you wanna have the speed. This has definitely got the speed. Ah, it's not for me, it's not for me, but is it for you? Let us know in the comments down below. Would you choose a bigger wheel than you are riding now? If you're riding a 29er, would you ride a 30? Or a 36 inch? Let us know. Right, after having that cup of tea, I need another cup of tea. Thank you very much to Connor for giving me this bike to use. I've looked after it, trust me. I haven't scratched it. See ya.